Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello and welcome back to the program. Intermediate listeners, it is time for class number 140. And we'll begin the show today with a little review of yesterday's class, that is class number 139. For those of you who are following along in your student guide as students of the course, and uh, yesterday we talked about frequencies and using the structure twice a year. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, a million times. I normally go to the dentists twice a year, I said. I go to Canada. I visit Canada. I go to Canada twice a year. Sometimes once a year. Usually twice a year. I eat... I also said this yesterday. I eat uh, fish once a week. I like fish, but I don't cook it very often at home. But I eat it once a week. If I go to a restaurant during the week, I often have fish for lunch. I eat pasta very often at home. I eat pasta maybe four or five times a week. I take a taxi about twice a week. I go to the barber once a month. That is, I cut my hair. I have my hair cut. I don't cut it myself. I go to a barber. I get the barber to cut my hair once a month. I wash my hair three times a week. I said this yesterday as well. I wash my hair three times a week. I don't wash it every day because I find it gets a bit dry. But I wash it three times a week. I call my mother once a week. I, I cook rice probably twice a week. Okay? So frequencies. I go to the cinema once a month. How often do you go to the cinema? I go once a month. I don't go very often, but maybe maybe once a month. How often does it snow in, let's say, Madrid? I know there are people listening all over, all over the country, and I, I always use Madrid for examples because I live here and I'm familiar with it. But how, how often does it snow in Madrid? Maybe twice a year, once or twice a year? Do you think it snows more often? Than, than it did before. I think it, pe people tell me that it snows maybe a little bit more often now than it did, I don't know, 10 years ago. But we say, how often, when we're asking for a frequency, how often do you, how often do you eat hamburgers? I eat hamburgers once a month. I don't eat hamburgers very often, maybe once a month. How often do you eat Cocido. Ask me, ask me how often I eat cocido. Kyle, how often do you eat cocido? I eat cocido maybe once a week. I do. I like it. Yes. So, this frequency. How often? How often? And once a year, twice a year, twice a week, three times a month, for example. Okay, now we can move on and take a look at the next part of yesterday's class, which was our translation list. Translation. Yes, the next thing that we saw in the last class was translation list number 48. So let's review this. As always, we'll review the list. And I'll start here. We'll, we'll go through them all. I'll start here with number one. Me miran... Como si fuera de la luna. They look at me as if I were from the moon. They look at me as if I were from the moon. Hmm, as if I were from the moon. Number two. Me siento incómodo. I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel uncomfortable. Number three. Tenemos que hacer algunos cambios. We have to make 
some changes. We have to make some changes. Number four. Significa mucho para mí. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Number five. ¿Cómo se dice pan en árabe? How do you say bread in Arabic? How do you say bread in Arabic? Number six. ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What does this word mean? What does this word mean? Number seven. ¿Quieres decir que ya no quieres trabajar aquí? Hmm, ¿Quieres decir? We say, do you mean, do you mean you don't want to work here anymore? Do you mean you don't want to work here anymore? Number eight. Tenemos que mejorar estos resultados. We have to improve these results. We have to improve these results. Number nine. Sigue con sigue mis consejos y te harás rico. Follow my advice and you'll become rich. Follow my advice and you'll become rich. A veces number 10, a veces me siento muy solo. Sometimes I feel very lonely. Sometimes, sometimes I feel very lonely. Number 11. Mi trabajo me pone en contacto con mucha gente. My job puts me in touch with a lot of people. My job puts me in touch with. Me pone en contacto. It puts me in touch with. In touch. It puts me in touch with a lot of people. Number 12. Él ya no fuma tanto. He doesn't smoke so much anymore. He doesn't smoke so much anymore. That's right. He doesn't smoke so much anymore. All right. Now, how did you do? How did you do on that translation list? Hopefully you did well, because it is time to move on now. And, well, let's start by taking our look at our Word of the Day. Word of the Day. All right, it is time for the Word of the Day. Our Word of the Day today is tasa. Tasa, which is rate. A rate, for example, an interest rate or an exchange rate. Okay, so a rate would be typically a percentage. So when we're exchanging something for something else, we have to follow a certain rate. Or taxes are defined in certain rates, a certain percentage, which is the rate, the tasa, rate. One rate, two rates. Rate, R-A-T-E, rate, tasa, is our word of the day. Now, as we move into class number 140, we can talk about, I will tell you now, I will say a few things about say and tell. I will tell you the difference. I will say the difference, and I will tell you the difference. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> okay, maybe it seems confusing, but basically when we mention the person who we're talking to, who we're communicating the message to, the indirect object, we use tell. And when we don't, we use say. Not so hard now, is it? So we say something to someone, okay? But we tell someone something. We say something. Now, afterwards, we can, we, we, we can say it to someone. But otherwise, when we, we, we use tell, we tell someone something. Tell your father the news. Okay, say your name. Say your name to the the police officer, for example. But tell the police officer your name. So tell 
is followed by that that object, that indirect object. Okay? Now, we also have some expressions, certain things, like we always say a prayer. Right? We say grace, which is the prayer we say before a meal. Right? We or we tell, for example, the truth. La verdad. Di la verdad. We say tell the truth. But let's try this. Let's practice. It isn't so difficult, but it is a it is a cause for 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 errors, I find. It's a cause of common errors. But let's practice with a little bit of translation. Okay? Number one, di tu nombre. We say say your name. Now Dime tu nombre. Dime. So, tell me your name. Okay? No dijeron nada. They didn't say anything. No nos dijeron nada. They didn't tell us anything. ¿Cuándo vas a decírselo? A ellos. When are you going to tell them? ¿Cuándo vas a decirlo? When are you going to say it? ¿Qué dice la gente? ¿Qué dice la gente? What are the people saying? ¿Qué le vas a decir a la gente? ¿Qué le vas a decir a la gente? What are you going to tell the people? Di lo que quieras. Lo que quieras. Say whatever you want. Cuenta un chiste. Mm. Here we say, tell a joke. We always tell jokes. He told me a joke. He tells jokes every day. With jokes, chistes, jokes, we always use tell. La verdad. Di la verdad. We say, tell the truth. We always use the verb to tell. We never say, say the truth. No. Tell the truth. Tell him the truth. Simply tell the truth. Dime la verdad. Tell me the truth. Okay? ¿Qué te han dicho? What did they tell you? Here we use the past in English. ¿Qué te han dicho? What did they tell you? Los hombres siempre dicen mentiras. Bueno, eso no es verdad. Los hombres siempre dicen mentiras. Men always tell lies. Hmm, I don't know about that. Nunca he dicho una mentira. I've never... ¿Cómo es? I've never told a lie. So with lies, we tell. There, so we have this rule about the indirect object, but we have certain cases... Yeah, it's often the case, isn't it? There are exceptions. So with, with lies, we tell lies. We tell the truth. Tell lies. Tell a joke. But we say a prayer. Okay, so those are some of the most important and most common um, exceptions or, or well, c common words where we... It's, al it's almost like an expression, you know? Tell the truth. Say a prayer. Right? Okay. Let's move on now. And quickly take a look at the vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day, our five words of vocabulary. Here we have the first word, ganga, choyo. This is a bargain, bargain. What a bargain, vaya ganga, what a bargain. Envidia, envidia is envy. Envy. Con soltura. Fluently. Fluently. A mitad de camino. Halfway. Halfway. Jugo. Zumo. Juice. Juice. Jugo. Zumo. Juice. All right, there we have our five words of vocabulary. And now, before the class is over, before it finishes, before it's over, I want to talk about to be over. Yeah, to be over. The class is almost over, but before I want to talk about this structure, acabarse, 
essentially the same as to finish. But we say to be. We use the verb to be. So let me give you a sentence with finish, and you can change it to the be over form. Okay? Call me when it finishes. So out, out loud, you can say, call me when it's over, when it is over. Okay? Please let me know when the meeting finishes. Please let me know when the meeting is over. What did he do when it finished? What did he do when it was over? Good. Who were you talking to? after the game finished. Who were you talking to when the game was over? Where were they when it finished? Where were they when it was over? I want to know where they were when it was over. We had the most points when the game finished. We had the most points when the game is, excuse me, when the game was over. The players were tired by the time it finished. So again, in the past, the players were tired by the time it was over. All right, so to be over. Speaking of being over, this class is over. It's finished. We're done. It's over. This class is over, so I'm going to end now, but I would like you to keep listening, please, because we're going to have a few short messages, and I'll be back in a few minutes with the advanced portion of today's class. I do hope you'll join me. If not, regardless, I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, with more for you here at the, advanced, at the intermediate level. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>